Hey guys, this is Jamie Lola Tallula, Poet Spice, and I am here to do an unboxing of the Crafter's Companion Create a Card subscription box number four. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Number four. Um, this is the September box. And of course, you know, your subscription comes out a little earlier. So this is the September box, which is box number four. So if there was some confusion or some questions over in the group, so I'm just gonna answer them um, when I was asked or there was a comment. If you just ordered this on August 15th, those people are supposed to get box three, which was August's box, and box four, which is September's box. So those people should be getting two boxes from what I understood, okay, because You'd be behind a month if you didn't. So that's how that goes. Um, the other question that I had was, can you get boxes one and two? If you did not subscribe in May, you cannot get box one and two unless they happen to have random boxes left over, okay? Which I think they pretty much all sold out. But they might have a bounce back or something like that. I know I canceled my box too, so... <laughs> Maybe there were some left. All right, so here's this one. It's with a create a card die. And now I have done demonstrations with that before. So if you want another demonstration earlier, just let me know and I can do that too. Um, like I said, if you see stuff and you want de demos or whatever, tutorials, just let me know and I can add them to the list. Okay, so let's dive in. You get your little paper. Uh, this time we're doing create a card. So they put in some acetate. So, I mean, it's clear. You can't really see it. <laughs> They put in some gems again in these little pearlized colors. This seems more like it should be an Easter box, but you have three widths of ribbon. So you have these thin ones here, the middle size, and then the large size, and they're all in the same colors. I'll do that in a minute. You have this stamp set. Let's see if I can get it to work here. You have this stamp set. And someone... <laughs> Someone made the observation that that's the wrong your. There should be no R there, so I'm going to have to cut that off. Um, so there's that. They'll probably reissue the stamp, but until then. So you have some uh, plain card in the appropriate colors to make some 4 by 4s I believe that's what these are. Some little 4 by 4s Y'all know I love 4 by 4s and 3 by 3s They give you the card blanks and the envelopes to make those size cards. Um, you get card blanks and envelopes. I want to say these are six by six. I don't see a measurement. So let me, let me try it and I'll tell you. Yeah, they're six by six. Well, the envelope is six and a quarter by six and a quarter. So it's a six by six card. So you get those and they're just regular cards. Now, here's the thing. I sh I'm going to show this in my demo that I do from box three. But here's the thing. If you have these cards... And you're like, well, I'm not going to use that size card. Don't forget that you can, this is heavier paper. So don't forget that you can use it for other things. Okay. For example, if you want, say, a thicker die cut, cut it out of this. If you want, you know, so you don't have to use your card blanks as cards. And then your envelopes, you can use them however you want to. Okay. So then you get another set of cards and envelopes. These seem like six by six, but they may be a specialty card. They look different for some reason. Let's open it and see. What's the difference? Ah, yes. It's, I don't know what kind of card this is. Fold back gatefold card. That's what it looks like. So then you have this one. It might say at the back of the box what kind of card it's supposed to be. Oh, you have some strips. So what is this? Hmm. I don't know. You have a card front and some strips. I don't know. I'll have to see what that's supposed to be. You have three card, uh, three bases and three lids for your box. And then I'll go ahead and show you the dies. So you get this die, which is actually, it's not a four by four. I want to say it's a five by five, but I could be, no, it is a four by four. 
well the cutting into it would be a four by four and so it's a four by four now I'm going to show you something about this die if you look closely see if I can get this for you if you look closely see there's a cutting edge right there and right here and all the way around that detail notice that the outside edge is flat that means that this one will cut into your card like that okay so this is a square and it'll cut into your card not out if you wanted it to cut out you'd either have to um, have a square die that's slightly bigger so that you can put it in there or you just have to have it cut it from a piece of paper that's like this is a four by four so cut your paper like four and an eighth by four and an eighth and then you have a little border does that make sense so this is a cut in die and into the card die then you have these little dies here which are like i thought they were on there but i don't think they are they're just added flowers yeah i can't get the dang thing open dang 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 a dang dang a dang dang just some extras here some extra foliage toys like I said, you can never have too many flower dyes. Well, you can, but <laughs> it takes a lot. All right, so there you have these little ones. It takes a lot to have too many flowers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, girls. And gents. I think there's a few gents left on my channel. I don't know. If you are some boys out there and you watch my channel, hi, dudes. How you doing, crafty buds? spells okay we're just gonna move that on over just move it on over <laughs> and then finally you get some eight by eight papers now how pretty are those I don't know I know she did with the first box she made um what was it 11 and a half by 16 and a half something like that we'll just say 11 by 16 um paper pad so I hope she does that with some of these other ones because they're pretty so here's that I'm going to have a D swan. And it's a nice white paper. This one. Love the purple. I think that is pretty. And I think I think you only get one of each sheet. Because that's different, yeah. I think you only get one of each sheet. You might get two. I'm not sure. No, it looks like one. Of course, you know, I'm digging the bottle. This kind of looks like the paper she had in the other one. Not exactly, but it looks like it could match. Like it could be in the same paper hat pad together. I love that one. I think that one's so cool. Which means I'll be hoarding that piece. <laughs> Because y'all know how I do. There you go. We'll be hoarding that piece. <clears throat> so it would be nice if she did a paper pad for this one too. That would be cool. Okay, so that is the September box. And hopefully, I didn't just lose a die. There we go. So hopefully, I should be getting out some projects here. I can't remember who asked, but somebody asked if I would do like a project from the box the boxes so I will try to get that on my radar of things to do okay instead of just you know instead of just showing you the box and then because what I tend to do I've said this before but I don't know who else has been watching or not watching what I tend to do is I'm a big mix and matcher I'm not a match matchy match person so I might use something out of this box in a collection of graphic 45 and then I might use something out of this box and box one and mix them together with something that I got from a totally different company so um since I was asked to sorry about for hitting that since I was asked to I will try to do a project where most of it comes from the box okay if you have a special request um, like if you want to see the die demonstrated if you want to see um, I don't know something in particular demonstrated from the box you can leave those comments below and thank you for watching yay I shall see you guys later bye